right, everyone, this is Tim with Online Big Blue, bringing you the best in New York Giants sports talk entertainment. It's the Cleveland Brown and New York Giants No News Friday edition. Why? Because they're doing the joint practices in Cleveland, and it's really non-news. All of it's not news Unless you're one of the neophytes who has to say something about something, like myself. <laughs> but a bunch. Um... It's because it's really there's no news. I mean, you, I am not take. I am taking less away from a joint practice than I am taking away from a regular practice or a scrimmage, because you still can't hit the quarterback. You're still not going full speed. Yeah, there's going to be some talking. There's going to be some jawing. There's going to be some things going on. But it, it it is what it is. It's just a joint practice. It's good and from the perspective that it allows the Giants defenders and offensive players to see someone else besides the teammates they line up against every day. I think that is a fantastic perspective in that regards. But I'm not going to sit here and tell you that anything that I see going on in these practices is going to transition over into the season. Because it's not. It might. Some of it might. You don't know. But it's, there's, I mean, there's really nothing that you're going to be like, ooh, uh, look, look, look what just happened. I mean, the Giants, I, I, I think you get more of a perspective. If you're, going to look, if you're going to look at individual matchups, I think you get more of a, of a perspective if you're looking at like one-on-one battles. Um, I think they have the, the film of Will Hernandez that, uh, everyone is talking about. I mean, but beyond that, I mean, you have some of the wide receiver battles going on. You have some of the defensive back battles. It's just, it's just good to see a, a different competition, like I said, than what you go against every week. I mean, I mean, that's, that's, that's all it really is. And, you know, the line had some trouble and the line looked good, but the line was also not playing against, uh, Miles Garrett or Javion Clowney. Neither of them were practicing yesterday. So, I mean, what are you taking away from it? it? It's it's good father to have to talk and have conversations about. But I'm I'm going to see you're going to see more during the game than you are going to see during these practices. Practice, man. Talking about practice. That's all you're going to see. It was a two hour session. What are you going to get out of two two hour sessions? I mean, there were moments, you know, like where Darnay Holmes got burned by, you know, Landry. Or when, you know, Kareem Hunt took out the big screen pass. And then there was a play where uh, Trent Harris beat uh, Jack Conklin. You know, but again, you're not hitting anybody. You're not going after anybody. It just, it, it is what it is. I mean, it, it really is what it is. I do find, two, one, a couple things I did find interesting. Um, the Brown after the end of the practice, the Browns and everybody left, you know, they, they said their handshakes, they walked off the field. The Giants stayed on the field to run conditioning drills. If you can, we want to look at a state of optics. Yeah. You don't want to break routine, but it's, it's just kind of weird that you're running, um, you're, you're running these, these drills in front of another team. Cause it, it just, it's just, it's just bad optics. That's all. That's all, that's all I'm going to say about that. It, it makes it look very Harry High School, which could be some of the reasons why people are just retiring instead of doing this stuff because you, you don't, you know. And, if, and the worst part is sometimes they've even said this before, you can over condition. There, there, there is a possibility for that as well. You could burn your team out before they even get into the season. I mean, it's, but that, like I said, there's, there's two schools of thought about, two schools of thought about that. So... Uh, another thing I found interesting was that the um, there's an article over in ESPN that the Giants basically have four coaches in the offensive line room. That's a lot of coaches. And even Will Hernandez came out and said, that's a lot of coaches. They all coach us a lot. I mean, even Keyshawn Johnson came outside and said from outside, it's an unorthodox step that really can be viewed with skepticism. When you got four voices talking to you and everyone's got a different technique, everyone has something they believe in, what legs you should use, how much pull, when you should wrap around. I'll tell you when I, because you'll watch, then I'll tell you, talk to me in week seven and I'll let you know. And I agree with that. I agree with that 100%. You know, let's see what happens in week seven or eight with all these things that are going on because that's a lot of coaches. (laughs) You got five starting offensive linemen and four coaches in in the offensive line room. Uh, so I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not pulling the red flag on anything, but it, it's just, you know, so there's, I don't know. We do some things that I scratch my head 
you know, and like I said, we do things that you scratch your head that you've seen. Other, and the problem is you've seen other coaches do this in the past and not be successful doing it. That they lose the locker room quickly, especially during tough losses. Just, just throw, just throwing that out there. Saquon Barkley, of course, was on the field, but uh, he was not uh, participating in any of the drills, which is fine. Um, uh, Tony and G- Kenny are not playing on Saturday. Excuse me, Sunday. I want to, which is at one p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are doing uh, online Big Blue Chalk Talk preview, like we always used to do. We're going to do that every live stream every Sunday at 11 a.m. to go over all, everything that we have to do. So Tony's got to get his ass on the field or he's not going to play against the Browns. I mean, excuse me, against the Broncos. People have to stop. People have to stop that dreaming on Twitter that they're going to see Tony streaking across the center of the field against the Broncos. He can't get his ass on the field during preseason. He's not playing the first game of the season. Throwing that out there, guys. Just throwing it out there. Uh, if you want to look about who potentially could is in danger, I think, of getting cut. I, uh, if you look at the running back position, I still think Brightwell is at odds. I think you're going to go with Barkley, Booker, and Clement. I think Platts and Gummer, even though he had the big long run, is probably going to be gone. Um, if you're taking a look at the, the, the other positions, the tight end, you know, I think hopefully they go with just three with Ingram, Rudolph, and Smith. If uh, Ingram, excuse me, Rudolph is healthy. If we're looking at who's going to be cut from the who's on the bubble, I would say in the wide receivers. I think you're probably looking at uh, Kenny, Shepard, Slayton, Tony, Ross. I think Sills and Board are going to make the team. Uh, and I think probably you're going to lose Pettis, Mack, Cole, Willis, and Bachman. I'm, I'm still not sure about Sills. He's got to do something else besides just show me he's a practice player. I think if you're looking at the offensive line position, I think we're probably going to still stick with Thomas. Uh, Thomas, Lemieux, Gates, Hernandez, Matt, Solder. I think Wiggins is going to still be there. How? I don't know. And probably Larson. I think Harrison and Slade are going to be the odd men out. Or maybe they go on to the practice squad. Heggy, I think, is going to go on the practice squad. I think if you look at the defensive line, I think we're going to keep Lawrence. Uh, of course, we're going to keep Lawrence. We're going to keep Williams, Hill, Danny Shelton, Austin Johnson. I think Raymond Johnson, Moa, and all those guys are gone. The edge rushers, where I think that the battle's going to be, we're going to keep probably Carter. Well, we're going to keep, I don't know if we're going to keep Carter. We're going to see some more. I'd like to see some more out of Ryan Anderson. Smith hasn't even been on the field yet. So you look good on the sidelines, being really tall. Cam Brown, I think, is probably going to make it. Uh, Nico, Nico should make it. And Trent Harris is looking good. Um, so, I mean, I'd probably take Carter Ojolari, uh, the kid we picked up from Minnesota. Smith and I don't know, probably Brown. If I had to look at that now, your linebackers are going to be. I think your linebackers are going to be who we who you expect. You're going to have Martinez, Crowder, Raglan, Coughlin. I think Downs is gone. If I had to look, if I had to look at a perspective, I, I think in the secondary, I'm still going to go with Bradbury, Jackson, Holmes, uh, Johnson, and Williams. I think Harper will probably go on the practice squad. I think Robinson is going to go on the pup. I think I think Sam Beal is going to get cut. I don't think Josh Jackson is going to be here. I really think he's going to get cut. And if we take a look at the safeties, I think it's going to be Ryan Peppers, McKinney, Love, uh, probably. You know, they're probably going to keep Nate Ebner, special teams guy, but I don't know, man. I don't know. But those are the guys I think are currently kind of, you know, that's just kind of my perspective of who we, you know, at going into week two of the preseason, just some of my projections. It doesn't mean anything because you know what? I don't know anything, and it's also preseason. Things change. You, your whole roster could be set the day after training camp. You have your 53-man roster set, and then you make seven additional changes because the Giants are going to be hunting for offensive linemen. That's all there is to it. They are going to be hunting for offensive linemen. So let's see. Let's see what happens there. Uh, the Browns. The Browns look like a good team again, 11-5 last year. I was always a Baker Mayfield fan. I think they have the offense. I think Odell's going to come back strong. you got that running game. you got that tough defense. Uh, I think they're, they're, they're going to be a tough out. Next year, and I think they're probably playoff bound again. So, you know, let's uh, let's let's give it all up for Cleveland. Let's give it up for the Giants. Joint practices one more day today, and then we got the game on Sunday at one p one p.m. I believe it is Eastern Standard Time. Also Sunday, Chalk Talk at Online Big Blue at eleven a.m. Eastern Standard Time as well. And again, this is Tim with Online Big Blue, bringing you the best in New York Giants sports talk and entertainment. And as always, if you could like, if you subscribe, bring that play thing to the means that be awesome.